Hello and welcome to another episode of the Roundtree Gardens podcast. We're back at the Ginkgo Studios and today I have another guest that I had a really fun time talking to. When we're out in the community, she's always hilarious. Um, she messes around with everyone. She's sarcastic. She's funny. She's traveled the world and she'll tell us a little bit about um, some of those travels and some of the things that she's done in her life. She always makes people laugh and uh, she's got a, just a really good sense of humor. So without further ado, here's Marianne. Hi, Marianne. How are you today? Well, I got up. That's a good start always. I, <laughs> why did you introduce yourself? What's your, what's your name? Marianne Punchin. All right. And my name is Elias Rodriguez. I'm the Community Life Director here at Roundtree. So I'm so glad that you came here and joined us today. I came not for a good reason. What was the reason then? Someone ran a red light and hit me and ne could never go home again. Wow, we're going back to the original reason you came to Roundtree. I see. Yes. Yeah, that was an unfortunate story that you shared with me. Yes. How long ago was that? 2015. 2015. You want to tell us a little bit about that story? Well, I was going down to buy some cereal at Bonds, and some lady came up and ran a red light, and I don't remember anything from then on. They said I stopped breathing three times, and I don't remember it, but some a friend of mine's son happened to be there, so he told her. So I was in hospitals till a week before 2002 is when I came here. They wouldn't take me till then. And so I went to this other place, but it was terrible. This place is so much better. You're just recovering from the terrible accident. Yeah. I've never really walked much since. And... Um, broke my, knocked my teeth out and broke my neck and my ribs and my leg and wow. shoulder and anyway, she just saw it. Side hit you. Yes. Wow. So and life changing. Changed completely. Well, tell me a little bit about um, life before that. What, what, what did you work, do, what did you do for work? Well, I was a teacher and I was going to be a physical education teacher, but I can't swim. <laughs> Is that what limits it? No kidding. So this was back in Pennsylvania. Okay. And um, So since you couldn't do physical education, what did you get stuck with? I became an elementary teacher. I see, okay. So I taught two years in Pennsylvania. Okay. And met someone who's teaching there from California. I see. And in the meantime, she was got a divorce and came back to California where she was from. And um, I, uh, I taught two years in Pennsylvania and then I came out here. No kidding. And did you teach elementary school out here too? Yes, in uh, two years, no. Two years it was in Pennsylvania, one year in Sacramento, and the rest in Long Beach. I see, okay. At four different schools. Wow, all elementary school? Yes, So what second, were third, or fourth grade. Wow, the young ones. Yes. With a lot of energy. Yes. And what was the best part of being a teacher of an elementary school? I had the summer off. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what did you do in the summers? I traveled. Every summer? Just about. No kidding. Tell me something about some of those travels. Well, my first one was around the world, 70 days. On a cruise ship? Yes. 70 days on a cruise ship? Wow. Yes. The, whole, the whole summer in between classes? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. That's brilliant. And um, what did I went with another teacher and she would be in charge of paying and doing everything, and I would be a guest. Then the next place we went, 
I was in charge of everything, and she was a guest. Wow, what a great setup. So that's how we traveled. That's great. Oh, wonderful. And uh, right now I'm trying to think where <laughs> went, but uh, uh, we started, I think, in France. A trip around the world was your first one. Yes. So you went, you started up here. Yes, and ended, I think, in Hawaii. <laughs> that is great. Wow. And that sounds amazing. And so all your meals were provided on the cruise oh, ship? Oh, yes. So you would go out for the day in these different locations yes, around the world? Yes, they'd take us out to, oh, wow. and to see things. And then I, another year I went um, to Dubai before it was the pretty place. I see. And a friend of mine happened to be there. So I went and visited, then I went on to India and Iran by myself. Oh my goodness. And uh, that was another trip. And then I, in Europe I had met, um, when I was in charge, went the <coughs> in charge when I went on a trip around the world, and there was a man next to me and he spoke English. And so I, of course, <laughs> had to <laughs> talk. <laughs> and uh, uh, later on, when we went to the hotel, um, he and his wife were um, went on the trip with us in the morning, and then in the afternoon, they were on a trip with us. And that night, Helen and I were um, at dinner and the waiter came over and said that couple would like you to join them. Wow. So we did and we became friends. They're Dutch. Wow. And so I went to visit them three times and they came here two times to visit me. No kidding. What a story. Yeah. You met them over there and you, you got yeah. so close that you would actually visit each other. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so you were quite the traveler. Yes, I like to travel. My, well, I'll have a question for you. You said that you were in charge one time, and then you were a guest the second time. What was the best one that you were in charge of, that you thought you did a great job, you planned it all out? I don't over. remember. No? They were all good, I'm sure. Yeah, they worked out well. Except sometime when I was a guest, I wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> you want to take charge a little bit? I wanted to do something. I see. I see. That's a that's a good workout, though. That seemed, that seemed to be yes. a good... Uh, every other year, you'd, you'd have to plan it. Yeah, so... And <clears throat> I drew... Uh, sometimes when I did, really didn't travel, I just drove across the United States to go back to Pennsylvania. Wow. And so I... One year I went north and stopped at places, and another year I went south. And, oh, that's great. And stopped, and it was on my own. Okay. But. Uh, and what was, what was the states that really made it? Did you remember any states that you were like, wow, this was beautiful? I, I never would have thought until I drove by. Can't remember. No? Okay. Uh, I was also going to ask you. I've done a little bit of traveling myself, and I, I realized that when you eat at the locations with the authentic food, in my instance, it was Thailand, the food was just incredible. Is there any place that you went that you hadn't had their food before, but maybe once you were there, you thought, man, this is, this is really delicious? No. Remember, I said I, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. No more, no more of those, then. <clears throat> because yeah, there there's something about the food. The other thing I remember is um, I went. I had the pleasure of going to, to Rome, and we had pasta and pizza. Nothing special. We just went to this random place, and it was extraordinary. I couldn't believe how delicious it was. So uh, my wife had asked the gentleman, you know, why is this pasta so good? I make pasta at home, and this. he says the water that you boil the pasta in has to taste like the ocean. 
So it was very salty water, and that's why the pasta uh. came out so delicious. And then it was just a very basic sauce. The pizza also was very simple. It was just delicious. So um, some of my highlights when I've traveled are, are you know, the food. You know, and right now I can't think of food as being great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm eating too much for breakfast. I see. Okay. Well, you just have a full stomach. That's why. I haven't eaten yet, so that's why I'm, I'm oh, dreaming about food. It's my main meal, and lunch and dinner, I get half. <laughs> but breakfast... That's the one to get started, huh? I get an omelet, and I get the fruit that they have, and I get um, oatmeal. Okay. With brown sugar and almonds. Yeah, it sounds good. It is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, you know, the, the funny thing, as you're mentioning breakfast, I've never been a big breakfast guy. And when we went to, I think it was Japan, I went to Japan, and they had these uh, breakfast buffets. And they had what looked like a hard-boiled egg. So I said, oh, okay, I'll grab the hard-boiled egg. And there it is. And <laughs> I start to eat it. And it's soft-boiled which I'm not sure if you've had, but basically it's still uh, wet inside, and the yolk hasn't oh, really yeah. cooked through. And Oh, man, it was ki quite a different experience. And then there, there's a lot of soups for breakfast, and, and that was a little different, too. I, it wasn't a standard, like, American breakfast. So I've never been a big breakfast guy, and, and that one didn't help much either. So um, Oh, see, and that's my main meal now. Um, I know... <laughs> I don't think I was a real breakfast person before came here, and um, also I gave up meat for a while. I see. And didn't eat meat. Okay. And that that's over now. Are you eating meat again? Oh yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Just it was sure. just a short time. Short time. Just to try it out. Yes. So uh, I see that we have a friend here on camera, um, and. As you're walking around the community, it's very clear to tell when you're walking by because you'll always have your, your animals coming off of your walker. And in your room, you also have quite a few animals. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I never, when I was little, we never had pets at my house. Both um, my father's father came from Scotland and my mother's father came from Sweden. Okay. And uh, I don't know how they met because they lived in different towns. And my father was so crippled with arthritis oh. and that that he couldn't drive or anything. But I can't remember now how they met. But uh, see, I forgot where I was going. You're saying they had no pets? No pets. And um, then when I started teaching, I went, I traveled, as I said, a lot. So I didn't think it was fair to a dog to keep putting them in. Makes sense. So when I came here, I just picked up, well, I've picked up a lion. <laughs> I saw it. Oh, and a tiger. <laughs> and I had picked the one up. We travel. I used to travel with a group from Cyprus and that and Long Beach um, to casinos. And um, what we all we usually did was we went to the casino and ate. Then we went across the street and shopped. Then we came back the last hour and gambled. So so you accumulated all of these. I, yeah, I should clarify that they're, they're stuffed animals. They're not really. Oh, animals. yes. But uh, we have a, a lion, a tiger. They're huge, too. They're not yeah. little guys. I have three lions, I think. I had at home two that big and then one about that big. <laughs> uh, but when I got hurt, I have no family. So some lady who sold my house and... And that sold my your lions, my things, and sold my lions. And that I also notice you have dogs and cats and all sorts. Not of cats. Oh, no cats. Well, you have a tiger. Tiger. You only have big cats. Yeah, I haven't that kind of cat. <laughs> I, 
Um, but uh, dogs, and I have rats. Wonderful. And I have a snake. Quite the zookeeper. Yes. Yeah. So I have a lot of them. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad that they bring you joy, and you bring us a lot of joy when you bring them around, and you always have such a good energy. Um, I wanted to see if we could close. I've been closing a lot of these interviews with some advice to give someone that might be entering the workforce or getting out of high school or maybe getting into college. What might be something you might give them advice for? I just to enjoy life as much as you can at the time because you never know how long it's going to last. And as I said, I traveled and had a great time, and then this accident caused me to sort of just sit and do not much of anything except play bingo. Gotcha. So it stopped abruptly, and as a result, you're glad that you went to Did all, all those, those different things. places. Yes. That is wonderful. That's great advice, and I'm going to take it. So okay. thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Okay. Okay.